Hey everybody, it is Bill from MattTracker.com. I am coming to you live from a Holiday Inn uh, in Taunton, Massachusetts. I am uh, currently up this way on work. And um, in case you can't see this here, I'm getting a little excited that hockey's back tonight. I'm recording this on on uh, the 14th. So uh, I don't know when this will actually air, but yes, I'm, I'm ready to... To get this season going again, and I'm sure, I'm sure Matt Tracker himself, Doug Stone, is going to agree with me on that. Um, so I haven't been able to jump into some of the podcasts that have been going on lately. Um, whether I haven't been, I haven't been feeling well, or I've just uh, I've been too busy um, with work. But as you may or may not know, uh, there are some comics that have come out lately, and I'm going to do a little like, you know. Uh, Sorry about this light here. It's probably going to reflect on some of the stuff that I'm doing. I'm going to hold up what I'm looking at. And I'm just going to kind of go through it quick and give give some perspective on it from my point of view. Um, so to start with, uh, IDW um, and Hasbro and a lot of great artists and writers have come together to conglomerate on the revolution, uh, joining... Let me see if I can find a good cover here. Uh, you know, joining all the entities that we kind of grew up with um, in our childhood. Here's a good one here. It's a it's a sub cover or an alternate cover of um, one of the other books here. So let me open it up here. Um, now, one thing I'm going to say to start with: don't don't pirate these things. Um, it's a comic book. They're they're four dollars for a regular issue. Um, you could find some of the, um, you know, the alternate covers for a couple of hours more at your local shops or on eBay. But don't pirate it. Um, if we want Mass to come back in full force, then we need we need all the support everywhere. And you know, getting a digital copy and then just reading it quick, um, and then that's it. Whether or not, you know, if you got it illegally, it's not going to help keep Mask alive. It's not going to keep it going. Um, we really need everybody. And so far, these books, especially the Mask series, from what I've read, have gotten, like, really positive reviews. Um, and from critics and from fans alike. So I'll, I'll give you my, my take on it in a little bit. I gave a quick... Oh, sorry about that. I gave a quick... Um, like synopsis when I've read the first one, the first mask one that came out and I was, you know, kind of blown away by it. I was, I was really happy that just to see something new mask related that wasn't, uh, somebody's fan art, uh, which is fine, but to have something come out in mainstream and from a, a, a publisher like IDW, um, it, it means a lot. And, I'm just looking forward to it, um, but I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna open up one of the sub covers here, or the alternate covers, um, for uh, Revolution Number One. Now, this one here isn't. This one isn't like mask driven. Um, there's a quick scene at the end of it. Um, I'll just point it up here. But here's the cover. Um, so you can you can see Matt Tracker there, kind of hanging out with Optimus Prime. Sorry getting this over here so you can kind of see the cover here uh it's really well done it's reminiscent of some other mass covers uh that we've seen through you know some dvd covers actually um we uh, well, not, well not mask but just other covers in general you have kind of like the focal points uh in the middle and then everything kind of joining around it um i think in this one here uh this was released um, it just kind of has a quick scene with Miles Mayhem at the end of it. Um, here. Oh, there you go. And basically, through the... Through the book... Um, you know, through this one here, it, it sets up... It sets up a little bit. But what we have is... Um, Miles Mayhem, who is... Apparently has a Cybertron uh, transformer, uh, it's something along those lines, um, in his custody, and 
he he goes by he goes by Miles uh, Mannheim, but he's still referenced as Miles Mayhem in this book. Um, so that's all there is in this book here. But I just wanted to kind of show that there is tie-ins to everything, and I'm not going to go over every every detail for the other entities. Um, while it is cool to see them, you know, it's not the the focal point of this right now. Um, and then the, the next one I saw, um, which I'm sure, like I don't have ROM with me or anything like that here. Um, right now I just have um, the, I think the, the main line of the revolution. I have uh, issues one and two. And then I have um, the mask one, the mask one that came out with some of the alternate covers. So um, I'll start with uh, an alternate cover. This one's kind of confusing, but it's just blank. Um, I don't know. I got it anyway, just because it's mask. Um, I think I paid uh, ten dollars for this one on eBay, if I remember correctly. This is called the sketch cover. Uh, let's see. We have this one here. It's actually my personal favorite. Um, it's, it's reminiscent of like maybe looking at it back at like it in the 1980s. Uh, yeah, this light's not, I don't know. Sorry about this light here. Um, but you have the cover. You know, you kind of have some of the the green lines here and a nice pattern. And then, it, you know, you have it kind of going out outward this way and making the focal point, you know, the characters here. But then you also have this up here where you have, obviously, you see the, uh, the Venom agents up there kind of looming. Um, but yeah, this is this one's really well done. This is actually my favorite out of the covers, um, just because of just how well it reminds me of um, the original the original series. Now all the books are the same inside, um, but you know I'll go over I'll go over one of them here. Um, here's another alternate alternate cover, and this this is actually how the characters end up looking um, inside of the the comic. This is how, you know, they're they they're they look essentially with their masks on. Um, there's a little you can see some differences here, um, as you see that the primary characters are are Matt, Gloria, and Julio here. Um, but right now in this in this shot, this is all one team. This isn't this isn't um, mask and Venom. Right now it's all mask. Um, they start out together, and then this is um, this is like the standard issue that you would see in the store. Um, should we make sure I didn't miss anything here? Yeah, this is a standard issue that you would see in the store mostly. This is really well done too. Um, Hurricane, Condor, Gator, and Thunderhawk. So this is the one I'm going to open up, and we'll just kind of. Go through it a little bit and give some of my takes on it, whether you care about them or not. So, <laughs> so let me get some water here real quick. Now, one thing I will say is that it, it, it's a little misleading because um, you see some of these variant covers that have the older style of uh, mass comic or the cartoon, but inside it's completely different. So just keep that in mind if you're if you're buying these, just don't be shocked by it. So let's open it up here. So I just want to give credit where credit's due for this one. I've uh, I've talked to a few of these guys and they couldn't be nicer. Um, really accommodating and they're doing a really great job. And please, like I said, don't don't pirate them. Just continue to support them. That way they are well more masks for years to come. Um, the mask logo itself here. It's a little different. It doesn't have uh, Rhino in it. I don't know if it was a copyright issue or not. Um, sorry, it's hard to do this with the with the light in the camera. But as you can see, it's something that you've seen probably in passing. Um, it, it just doesn't have it there, and it kind of cuts off part of um, uh, Matt Tracker's mask on that part there. So the opening scene we have is. Uh, describing 
Let's see, assembling a black ops team is a delicate affair. So Mask is essentially a black ops entity during this book, um, as it stands right now. And Miles Mayhem is kind of like the overseer of it. And the agents that are in it, uh, we have Matt, uh, Gloria, Brad, and Julio are some of the agents that are in there. Um, and they're, they're getting dressed there um, in the opening scene. Now, one thing I do find funny um, on page uh, two, I guess it would be in the book. Uh, so... So there's a there's a little box here. It says, despite their weaknesses, they'll serve me well until they'll serve me well in the ultimate conflict. And when they've outlived their usefulness, they'll they'll be retired from service. So what we have is um, the the new team, the new recruits coming in, and you see, you know the older style of things and then the new recruits coming in. So I thought that was pretty funny. A good good little shot at the older stuff, but also, you know, incorporating it too. Uh, the one thing I do, the one thing that was confusing on this shot um, was a Condor and Thunderhawk are in flight, but then they're also beat up in the foreground. Um, it's probably something I just don't understand comic book wise, but, um, you know, Hopefully it's nothing too bad. Uh, so right now we're looking at a, at a panel that says, welcome to Project Spectrum. Because of your background and unique abilities, you've been selected to participate in this classified training camp. The purpose of this program is to find pilots to help protect Earth from new threats, specifically the Cybertronian problem. So we have, essentially from what you can see is, apparently Miles Mayhem wants to stop Transformers, essentially. Um, and it's called Project Spectrum. So, keep that in mind, too. So, some of the scenes here. Um, we have... We have some of the characters going through some of the basic the boot camp here. And one thing to note is that and one thing one thing to note um as i said it was hold on one second so in this one here okay so there's bruno there sorry i was trying to figure out who was who um So there's a couple scenes that have foreshadowing in it. Um, and for those of you who don't know already, Matt Tracker's um, race is African-American now. And um, that doesn't bother me at all. And I don't understand why it would bother others. I get it that, you know, Matt was Caucasian and it takes away from the, the canon of mask, but this is mask that we're looking at and sure it's not exactly 100 percent the same but it's mask and, and that shouldn't bother you at all to be honest if it does then um uh it shouldn't <laughs> um so let me see here okay so we have like a like a little little profile on some of these um, some of the characters here. So we have uh, subject Matthew Tracker. His special specialty is advanced engineering. Um, Sylvester Rax, um, operations and intelligence. Uh, Vanessa Warfield, criminal profiling. We have uh, Julio Lopez, combat surgery. Uh, William Evans which I'm not sure who that is quite yet. Um, counterintelligence. Uh, we have Bruno Shepard, demolition expert. Um, Brad Turner, infiltration. Gloria Baker, IT and intelligence. And uh, uh, Marcy, Marsha Watkins, communications. So those are some of the recruits that are in this program right here. Um, 
so we kind of go through some scenes here where they're all kind of beating each other up. Um, and we kind of just kind of go through it here. Uh, let's see. So we have a, we got, like a test program here. Uh, I guess this is what happens to, to William Evans. <laughs> um, so we have a test program here with um, wearing some, some of the masks and... Two, two, two. Yeah, that's why I didn't realize who it was. <laughs> so some of the guys, some of the team members might not make it. Um, but we see, but we see kind of after that, we see Matt and Miles talking to each other um, uh, by themselves. And then we kind of get some cool shots here. Of, of Matt putting on uh, his mask along with Julio and some of the other crew there. And they kind of go through, you know, they're just messing around, learning some of the new things here. So it's, this is here, this one here is kind of like, this is like a boot camp essentially for mask. And, um, as they go through this, we have, um, looks like Scarlet from uh, G.I. Joe pops in. And you know, here's some of the vehicles here in action, the new ones. And you can see some of the masks there. So you can see that uh, Miles and Scarlet have a, you know, the, as their entities in the government. Um, that's how it's going to transpire that way. So that's kind of one of the tie-ins there. Um, so that's that's mask volume one. Now I don't have volume two, but what I do have is uh, Revolution issue number two, and what this one entails is a little more mask. And uh, let's see, which one's the original cover? I only have two of these ones here. Um, this one here is the original one. You can see uh, GI Joe. I mean not GI Joe. Transformers and mask here. Hurricanes down there, and then this is a one of the alternate covers. You can see Rom in the middle with Transformers and Mask. So I'm gonna open up um, the original one here, and since the other one's been out for a little bit, um, you know, I I'm not I'm not gonna go into too much detail of this one yet because it's still kind of new. Um, but essentially, what you have in this one here is you have the Transformers um, trying to take down Rom. I'm not going to go into too much detail, um, but that's that's essentially what's happening here. And they seem to kind of struggle with it a little bit. Uh, eventually, they do get them, though. Maybe. Um, and back with in the GI, and then it kind of goes to a cutscene of GI Joe, and we have some. Um, dialogue between Miles Mayhem and Scarlet, and then we come into, um, let's see, yeah, so then we come into another scene here where we have, um, you know, everybody kind of working on their vehicles here, getting them ready, tuned up. And if you look at that one panel down here, um, where my pinky is, you kind of see, uh, kind of see the true side of Miles Mayhem coming out there. So we have the team springing into action here, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of odd to see them all together. Um, but Here we go. So you can kind of see them all there in those panels there. There you go. Um, so basically what's transpiring right now is, um, let's see, I'll go back. So Mask is coming in to try to take down what looks like one of the, uh, the Transformers here. Um, we have another shot of some of the vehicles here. 
So they're all coming in and they eventually do get into a kind of like a firefight. Um, here's a here's a shot of Switchblade there. They get into a firefight and, and and Matt kind of has you can see the 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 good side of Matt Tracker maybe kind of starting to come through because um, it oh, going back he's a, like an ex-con I think um, but you you kind of you kind of see two things taking shape in this book here you see Matt maybe wanting to start questioning things and you kind of see Miles Mayhem be Miles Mayhem but not the one that we knew the one we knew was bumbling um, this one is not bumbling so keep that in mind too and also it's not really a spoiler because Brandon has come out a lot about it but there are no uh, there's no T-Bob or Scott yet <laughs> um, I don't think they're going to put them in there and I you know I'm fine with Scott that's fine but um, I think he would have to be I think Matt's in his early 20s or something like that so Scott would be five depending on or you know if it was if it was his natural child or if it was um, an adopted kid I don't see how an early 20 year old seems to be single single guy would adopt a kid but I'm not him so I don't know so that's kind of like a quick synopsis of it there, like a quick overview. And so what I like about this is that, you know, we have Mask itself and their own books, but we also have it tying in to work together with G.I. Joe, Transformers. Um, you know, and as a kid, you obviously put them together at some point in your life, um, even though they weren't the same size. Um so, all in all, the stories in each one are very well done. Um, what I've liked, the only thing I would have liked a little bit more out of Revolution One for Mask it was maybe a little more, a little more to it. Um, it seemed like there were short on pages, but it was probably because of the continuation factor. Um, but other than that, really well done. Um, if you agree or disagree, let me know. Um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing um, what all the characters might be coming into play. Um, and just in general, uh, the next cover, the next um, the next portion of the mask uh, telling. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. See you.